I baked some salted caramel. Right? You guys like caramel or caramel? Caramel? Are you asking us to read for the show or just like us? No, it's like, what do you say? Like, salted caramel. Just give it, a few, give it a few passes. Car- we'll use caramel? whichever one works. Salted caramel. caramel. Salted caramel. Caramel. I think I like salted um, caramel. I put some James Carville brownies for clout and to make <laughs> okay, my wait, coworkers. That doesn't make any sense. The way yeah, you need I, baked, I baked some James Carville brownies for clout. Thank you. And to make my coworkers like me more. Yes. But when I walked in this morning, I saw someone already put a big bowl of candy in the break room. Brothers, what should I do? Should I put the brownies out today and have them possibly be overshadowed by the candy or save them until tomorrow where they'll be more specially appreciated but risk them going stale? This from Brown Nose Brownies. Oh. I am obsessed with this question and I have extremely strong feelings about it. Here's the, I don't think you have to worry about it being overshadowed by the candy. But it will be wrong. Try again. Incorrect. Well, Next it will step. be shadowed by the candy. I mean, you know what I mean. Like I think that pe- this is why you jumped in first to bring this heat. Well, I'm saying you're bringing like, now. Well, what is what are your strong feelings then, sir? I said I had strong feelings, and you're like, let me fucking say nothing for a second. Hold on, Justin. Let me give you a second. I was to trying rev to up. assuage some worry. I don't want. No, there's no worry to be assuage. It will definitely. If there's a bowl of candy. And then there's someone puts out brownies. And I am a third party to this. I am a, a passerby employee, right? In my head, I am just registering treats. Mm-hmm. Right. At this point, this okay. is like the treat day. Wow, everybody brought in <laughs> treats I today. See what you're saying. Yes, and I this know. person who just brought in like a bag, like literally just opened a plastic bag of Smarties and Snickers and op- upended it into a. It better not passes. be both of those. Oh, you, if you mix chocolate and fruity sweet, get the fuck out of here. Well, they're both in the bowl. The point is, like, you're going to fit. And then the other person uh, bakes delicious James Carville brownies that they, like, slaved over. When you go in, you're like, and you're just going to combine the two events. So basically, the candy bag person is going to get half credit for the brownies. Yeah, because I Because yeah. it's part of like a uniform, it's just like a shared, it's become a potluck, basically. An event that we all chipped in for. Some of us gave candy, some of us gave brownies. It's become a little unclear, but all we know is we had a great time. That works for everybody but you, the person that worked really hard on the brownies. The problem I- is, is if you bring them in second day, right? Now it's a chain of treats, and people are like, ooh, candy yesterday, brownies today. Can't wait to see what tomorrow is. Right, and now it's like, you know, it still is a No matter which way you slice it. I would, if in this scenario, I go for candy every time instead of brownie, because I'm, uh, yeah, because my stomach, like, if I'm at work and I eat, I see basically I can either eat like a controlled, I know what a a fun size Snickers is going to do to my body. This, this, uh, this brownie that has Cajun politician James Carville in it. Uh, I don't know. It, this is probably going to be a a a, a feeling bad square. Yeah, a, but Griffin, chocolate... your body is a whimsical contraption, and that's true of like any food you're going. <laughs> what you're saying is, you know how just how bad you'll feel from a Snickers. You're... You have no idea how bad <laughs> you'll feel from your weird jalopy, your griffy griffy bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's I. You really took me apart there, brothers. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is a fun one so far. You have to take this to a different office Ooh. and get a job there today. <laughs> you don't have much time. They've they're becoming in Staland. The, Maybe the installing is you can is pick occurring. one employee that has a lot of clout, and you go to them and say, "I made these for you." <sighs> Any B days, any B days, days. days. that could be a special, any special anniversaries, maybe a first day celebration. <laughs> yeah, that's great. What you could also do is deliver them, hand deliver them to their desks, be the first in the office, drop them all off like your own little uh, Halloween Kris Kringle. And you're going to want to let them know that you did make them and they're not maybe not going to have pen and paper laying around. So just log on to their computers, open up a Word document and just type in, you know, Derek in it. And then do leave that open sort of with this brownie near the screen. And that's going to get you there. Could there maybe be an accident that occurs to this bowl of candy? Wink, wink. 
may be an oh. unfortunate, oh, it would be a shame if something, oh, where did the candy go? Oh, right in the old toilet. Oh, what an accident. <laughs> All the candy <laughs> flew off the table and into the toilet. This is great. You pick up the bowl and you go out of the kitchen and you just kind of walk around all silly going like, whoa, whoa, into the bathroom. And then you say, I slipped so much. <laughs> yeah. And then people are going to be mad because the candy went in the toilet and you say, it's okay. I made brownies. I made and brownies. And now you're also a hero. Yeah.